Hey y'all, it's Greg Casar. I'm a longtime immigrants' rights and labor organizer here in Texas. I've served on the Austin City Council the last seven years, working on housing as a human right, working on transferring funds away from mass incarceration and towards things like public health or abortion access, and on passing things like paid sick time. The first paid sick time policies in the American South worked on passing those here in Austin, but also in Dallas and in San Antonio. Then I decided to run for the United States Congress on that progressive organizing momentum. Just a few weeks ago, we won the primary election with four times the votes of anyone else. And because this is an overwhelmingly Democratic district, it means I'm most likely headed to join the United States Congress come January 2023, thanks to the support of folks here in my district and the progressive movement across our country. I'm excited to come and be part of the cavalry coming over the hill to come and fight for Medicare for all because it's what folks here in my district and across my state need. I appreciate that y'all are at this conference. I wish I could be there with you at the Medicare for All Strategy Conference, but thank you for inviting me to share some words with you because what I want you to really hear is that across the South and in places like Texas, folks so badly want to see healthcare be a human right in this country. While it was my name on the ballot, really it was Medicare for all that won the election the other night. It was a living wage. It was housing as a human right. It was us taking care of one another that was on the ballot. And that's what people overwhelmingly went and voted for. You may not have watched my race closely, but it was a lot of attacks coming our way about what we couldn't do or what wasn't possible or what shouldn't be done or the barriers that we face. But people wanted to go and push for a bold, compassionate agenda where we take care of one another with common sense policy solutions like Medicare for all. That's what people overwhelmingly wanted to see was let's talk about what we can't do and getting to work on what we must do. And that's so important in a place like Texas. We're the most uninsured state in the country. Our governor for political purposes, like several other governors, especially in the South, have rejected even Medicaid expansion dollars leaving people to get sick and to even lose their lives. But what I want to encourage you on is that we are seeing a continued wave of progressives running for the US Congress, of former organizers who are committed like I am to doing the inside outside work so that you all and others can continue to push both on the inside of Congress and on the outside to be able to win Medicare for all. We have this renewed fight. I am a part of it. I'm excited to continue to be a part of it with you. Uh, and I just want y'all to know that the fight continues and that we're not giving up because even though there are folks on the other side who are fighting to protect the lifestyles of Jeff Bezos, we are fighting to protect the very lives of our communities. Uh, and that is what is going to continue to power us until we win. And so I so appreciate uh, your continued strategy work and I'm excited to work with you and my other colleagues uh, as we head to Congress come January. Thanks so much.